Thinking about hitting the waves this coming summer? We've got you. We'll discuss the top 10 white sand beaches in this video, which you absolutely must add to your travel itinerary for 2023. For people who don't want to drive far, this list covers places that are close to the city and there are also beach locations for those who want to get really away from the city bustle. We won't keep you waiting, so let's get to the first beach on the list right away. Introducing Tabobong Beach in Dasol, Pangizanan. Tambobong Beach is referred to as the Boracay of the North and is famous for its turquoise waves and fine white sand. Because of these characteristics, tourists can't help but be reminded of the well-known Boracay Beach and how similar it is to this undiscovered gem in Pangazanan. Other beach activities include island hopping, boat trips, and kayaking. Yet, resting on the white sand is always an option if you just want to get away from the stress of daily life. It simply takes five to seven hours to go to Tambobong Beach from Manila. You must board a bus headed towards Santa Cruz, Zambales, that travels through Alaminos, Pangazanan, and then request to be left off at Dasol from the bus driver. You can then take a tricycle from Dasol Highway to the Tambobong Beach. Mara Pascua Island in Cebu is up next. This famed island, which is situated in the Visayan Sea to the north of Cebu, has become well known for its breathtaking landscape, clean waters, extraordinarily white sand, and excellent diving locations. For those who enjoy learning about the abundant marine life in Malapascua, we recommend this beach. Because of this, this beach is famous for its thresher sharks, coral reefs, and fine sandy bays, all of which may be explored in a single day if you're an adventurous sort. Its best diving location, Monad Shoal in Malapascua Beach, is supposedly the only place in the entire world where thresher sharks are often spotted around daybreak, which should excite you even more. The quickest method to get here, if you are not from Cebu, is to fly into Mactan Cebu International Airport in Cebu and then take a bus to Numaya Port. After being dropped off, you may now board a boat headed towards Malapascua Island. Panglao is a well-known tourist destination because of its stunning beach locations, which have long been acknowledged. Panglao is the place for you if you enjoy visiting rustic resorts. This island, with its coconut trees, hammocks, and native homes, is well known for its breathtaking shoreline. Moreover, Panglao is well known for its incredibly fine white sand. Even without a towel to lay on, they claim you wouldn't mind relaxing on the sand. The absence of riptides, those aggressive, swift-moving waters, on the island makes it a particularly wise choice for families visiting with children. Panglao Island can be reached by boat or plane, however, the ferry station is in Tagbilaran, where most people choose to travel. The Bohol Panglao International Airport is another option for getting to Panglao via air. Now, if you want a short getaway and want luxurious lodging, this next white sand beach is for you. Laia Beach in San Juan Bantagas is a white sand beach ideal for summer vacationers looking for a close-by escape. Laia Beach, which is a few hours from the city, is known for its fine sands and crystal clear seas. A number of resorts are also ideal for families and groups of friends. Laia Beach is your pass to a leisurely weekend where you can unwind or spend quiet days with friends or family. Take a bus to San Juan Bantangas and get there to get here. After that, head to the market to catch a jeep headed to Laia so you may be dropped off right at your resort. An island that is always a good choice comes in fifth on the list. It's Boracay, of course. The world-class Visayan island of Boracay, which is located in Aklan, has long been acknowledged as one of the top islands in the world. Visitors to the island are always won over by its world-famous white beaches, clear waters, and fun beach activities. The stunning sunsets on this lovely island are another reason you shouldn't pass it up this year. Sunsets appear to transform the sky and sea into a work of art. There isn't a direct trip to Boracay for those who must travel by air. You have to take a plan to Calibo or Aklan. Depending on whether you landed in Calibo or Aklan, you then take a bus or motorized tricycle to the jetty port, which will transport you to the island. Which white sand beach are you most excited to visit so far? Let us know in the comments section. We now bring you to Masasa Beach in Tingloy, Bantangas, the sixth beach on our list. Given how popular it has been among beachgoers for so long, you have definitely heard of this beach. Masasa Beach, which shares some similarities with Boracay, is renowned for its pearly white sand and crystalline waters. Although it has earned some recognition as it was originally thought to be a secret paradise, it is still largely uninhabited, making it ideal for anyone seeking a tranquil retreat. Take a bus to Batangas City Grand Terminal, then a jeepney to Analaw, then request to be left off at Analaw or Talaga Port to get to this location. 
From there, take a boat to Tingloy Port or Masasa Beach. Lucky Beach in Meraveles Bataan comes next. This beach should be on this list for a variety of reasons. First off, despite being only three hours from Manila, it provides the ideal retreat because it's distant from the crowded beaches. The seas in this uninhabited paradise are so clean that you can see all the way to the bottom, and the sands are so immaculate that they glisten in the sunlight. This beach is ideal if all you want to do is relax and take in the beauty of the island lifestyle. Take a bus to Maravelas Bataan, then a tricycle to Porto in Barangay to reach here in Talon. Rent a boat to Lucky Beach from there. El Nido Beach, dubbed Heaven on Earth, is number eight on the list. This beach, which is situated in the well-known region of El Nido, Palawan, is undoubtedly a must-see in 2023 for the unique experience it provides. Due to the old limestone cliffs that surround it, the beach has a very secret adventure feel about it. El Nido is known for its stunning beaches with white sand and teal waters. You can travel here from Manila by flying to Puerto Princesa and then taking a van that goes to El Nido. White Island in Camigan is second to last on our list. This uninhabited island is actually a sandbar in Camigan, a volcanic island. As a result, the sandbar becomes an island that is partially submerged during low tide. White Island gives you a spectacular morning view. Adventure seekers can also walk up the slopes to Mount Hibak Hibak, which leads to popular hot springs among the locals. You must take a boat from the White Island Ferry Station in Mambaja to reach this location. Coron is unquestionably one of the most well-known white sand beaches in the Philippines, and it is last on our list. For its limestone karst formations, coral reefs, islets and inlets, hot springs, World War II shipwrecks and crystal clear blue waters, this other Palawan treasure captures the hearts and eyes of many. Coron offers a wide range of adventures, including diving and snorkeling, as well as other thrills like magnificent lagoons and mountain hikes. To travel to Coron, take a flight from Manila to Coron, then a taxi from the airport to the town. Did you love this list of 10 white sand beaches? If you do, why don't you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel? We post a lot of travel-related videos you might not want to miss out on. Thanks for watching.